All right, let's see what's new today. Oh, something new from AMD. Let's check it out. So today we're doing just that by bringing our new AMD Ryzen 5000 G series processors to the enthusiast DIY market. The Ryzen 5000 G series processors perform really well across a wide range of content creation applications and games. Oh, really? So on top creative apps like DaVinci Resolve or Blender and games like CSGO or what? Fortnite, you can see what? that Ryzen 7 5700G performs significantly above the competition. So on top creative apps like DaVinci Resolve or Blender, like DaVinci Resolve or Blender. Let's go check out if we can see a little bit more details on that. But I have a very good idea of what they are. I'm actually doing something for a client right now and I'm building him that machine, which is on AMD Ryzen, but 4000 series with an integrated graphic drivers, like an APU, exactly like this. That's the current generation and that's the generation from this year that is coming up. Obviously, next generation is better than current generation, of course. Well, finger crossed. <laughs> but the fact that they did test this with DaVinci Resolve is very interesting. Now, this is a mobile APU, not as powerful. And this is going to be a computer APU, might be a little bit more powerful. But in the end, both have integrated graphic, which means that you don't need, which means you won't need to put a huge graphic card in it. Now, these are two different needs, of course, if you build something like that. And I have tested DaVinci Resolve with that machine and it's not too bad in 1440p. Not too bad. Obviously, this was for a video like this one, a YouTube video, one or two videos at the same time, nothing heavy. Obviously, if you need something more heavy, you'll have to have a graphic card dedicated, of course. And if we look at the specs of the 5700G, the specifications are pretty good. And if the graphic cards are one generation higher than this one, well, it's gonna be fine as long as you don't make highly complex videos. I think this is not too bad, especially in a world where currently it's pretty hard to buy graphic cards in a reasonable price, let's just say like that. I think this in the current times where GPUs are very hard to come by, that's a decent trade-off where you can wait a little bit and maybe a couple of months, let's say five months, six months, You'll be able to buy a GPU at a decent price. That's a good compromise in the meanwhile. And they're not that high in prices. Thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Both models will be available starting August 